Hello, my beautiful Tauruses. Welcome to your Love Forecast Horoscope for your weeklies. This is going to cover January 28th to February 3rd. I want to thank you guys so much for liking, sharing, subscribing, and thank you to my members. I really appreciate all of your support. And if you guys would like a live personal reading with me, go to my website, jenniferwalkerzen.com, or check out the description box below. And also, my beautiful darlings, so we're going to cover the dates of January 28th to February 3rd. So I'm gonna switch up camera views because I know you guys like to see me shuffle, so let's do that now. All right, what's gonna happen with my Taurus's romantic love life for January 28th to February 3rd? Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so, so we got the January 28th January 29th, January 30th. Let's move this over like this. January 31st. That's interesting. February 1st. This is uh, February 2nd. And wow, Ace of Cups coming out for Okay, that block shillings and challenges. Okay. Okay. Wow. Okay. Good spread there. Okay. Four of wands is the bottom of the deck. So, uh, if the day to day is confusing at all, just stick with me till the end. I'm going to go over everything and it's going to be very clear cut. So this is going to be your love interest feelings, the box delays and challenges are right here. And then the overall outcome. And if you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below, or you can do both. Let's jump right in. Okay, so the first card here for the Block Shillings and Challenges is this Knight of Wands energy. And what this Knight of Wands energy is showing me and the imagery that I got before going, well, shuffling your deck here for you, Taurus, was somebody who was trying to really sound the alarm, okay? And it's interesting because the Knight of Wands can show uh, player energy, it can show lots of passion, uh, it can show somebody needs to take an action quickly, okay, with the Knight of Wands energy. We're going to clarify a little bit further about this block shillings and challenges. Could be an airy Sagittarius Leo energy there. So obviously you're coming in with on the first day here of January 28th with this four swords energy. So obviously someone is thinking about you. Okay, you're on their mind, Taurus. They can't stop thinking about you. Um, there's some long-term plans going on here. Okay, so let's just get more information what, to see what that's about. It's got my Taurus's romantic love life. February 28th, excuse me, January 28th to February 3rd. Show me cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so with this four of swords, there is this person is thinking about you. And it looks like they're thinking about reuniting with you, right? This is a person you've known from before. This is nostalgic energy. Someone from before, okay, is thinking about you. Okay, so, and don't worry guys, when I start going down layer and layer and layer, I'm going to have the camera on the cards itself. So you won't be confused, okay, I promise. It's just as difficult for me sometimes to kind of like look over here and look at this camera over there, right? So I wanted to try it this way today. All right, so it's gonna have my Taurus's romantic love life. January 28th to February 3rd. Show me the cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, so this actually is happening because there's a breakup going on, Taurus. So it looks like someone's going to be reuniting with you because of some kind of breakup. Now, you could have broken up this person, okay, and they're wanting to reunite, or you, they could have broken up with you. But there's some type of reuniting happening because of this, around this breakup, something to do with a breakup. Okay, so let's keep going here. So what I hear is this person... Thought this was love, but they realized it was a lot deeper than love. It was like more profound and deeper than love for them. Let's have my Taurus's romantic love life. Give me okay. Taurus's romantic love life, January 28th to February 3rd. Show my cards I need to see. Show me the cards I need to see. Okay, let's see what that's about. So it looks like you're going to hear some communication from this person. Okay. What's going on by Taurus's romantic love by January 28th to February 3rd? 
Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards you need to see. All right, this is something to do with the next partner. Let's bring it all together. So this is the 28th, okay? There's communication coming in from this person from before, something about a breakup here. Now, they could be breaking up with somebody else and coming forward, okay? There is a reuniting happening here and lots of thoughts and plans. They can't stop thinking about you, okay? So that's the 28th. Now, let's see what's gonna happen on the 29th. Okay, so now the 29th, of January, we're looking at this person who is crying over you. They're sad, they're heartbroken, okay? With the Three of Swords energy. And what's going on here? They really want to get your attention, Taurus. So you can see they're finding you very beautiful, very attractive. We're talking about male or female, okay? They're finding you very attractive. And believe it or not, this is what you wished for. This is what you've hoped for. So I want you to ask yourself the question. Who is it that you are wishing, hoping for here, okay? This is that person, okay? This is fulfilling your desires here with this Nine of Cups energy. Okay, going further. There's gonna be a, it's a very emotional day on the 29th. And obviously because of what has happened before with this person, there's a little bit of a cautiousness here, right? There's a little bit of like, hmm, can I really, Go, go all the way forward with this situation, you know. Uh, there's like, a, it's a little bit of standoffish kind of energy. Okay, so let's keep going. So we've got the Three of Pentacles now. Now, Three of Pentacles can be a work situation going on on the 30th, okay. Working together, building something, feeling like, okay, I've established something with this person. All right, there, there may be concerns for you guys that there's more than one person involved in the situation with the Three of Pentacles energy. Okay, let's go further on it. It looks like you're going to, and also there could be three people on the stage. Maybe you're going out, you're celebrating something, okay? Because I see that there's, this is the going out and having a good time party card, okay? So maybe you're going out with friends or work friends, okay? So there's, because we see there's money and finance about the situation. And it looks like there's a lot of potential here. But of course, there is some concerns about maybe somebody not speaking the complete truth about it. Okay, with the deception card. Okay, don't worry, I'm gonna bring it all together, okay? So there's some partying, celebration, supposedly for work, right? Three of Pentacles energy, but you're concerned, are they really telling me the truth about that? Okay, so going further now, it looks like on the 31st, okay, of January, you guys are getting some type of communication, okay, or there's a lot of energy coming towards you with the Eight of Wands, but remember, with the Eight of Wands for uh, the Tarot, unlike like the pages, pages always represent some type of communication, this is the card of text message, phone calls, okay, this is our communication card right here, the Eight of Wands. It looks like you're receiving communication from somebody, okay? A friend, a family member, okay? Somebody's giving you some type of communication, which is shocking to you, surprising to you, the Tower Card energy. What is this about? Abundance of shock and surprise, okay, why? Cause you're in a state of confusion, like what the heck? So you receive some kind of information from this person that really throws you through a tailspin here on, uh, on the 31st. Now, also this communication could be, that's what I hear, uh, that this actually could be for some of you guys, I know it's a very specific message, but some of you guys, you could be hearing about the other person from your person, okay? Uh, about their state of confusion and the information that you receive really causes you shock and surprise, okay? So let's keep going here, okay? So we got the 1st of February. So this person is whoever this person is to you, is desperate to hold on to you with the Four of Pentacles energy. They wanna hold on for a short success. They may even throw in money at it. Like, let me just help you out, take care of you, okay? So you can see this person's like trying to give money to a person here, right? Okay, so, and it's looking like it's something to do with this house, this home, this family situation, a sense of stability here. And this person's like, you are my main person. And this is exactly what you want, Taurus. And it looks like there could be um, movement towards a long-term commitment here. Okay, we've got the ring card coming out, okay? Commitment, engagement, or marriage. Okay, what? Oh, goodness. All right. <laughs> 
so there's a lot going on this week. Okay, so we got the second here coming out. World card. Some of you guys could be doing some traveling on this day. Okay, if traveling is not the case, something is going to be accomplished or completed here with the world card energy. What is it? Okay, there could be a gift coming in. All right, world, you know, travel, giving a gift or giving an invitation for travel. Okay, there is an offer being presented, key card energy. You are in the place of, wow, I've accomplished something, I've achieved something here. When it came to these regrets from the past, dealing with these regrets from the past, I'm overcoming that, right? So that kind of energy is coming out. And look at this. There's an offer of new love, renewed love with Ace of Cups energy, okay? With the Ace of Cups coming out. And a hopeful energy with the star card. Wow, this is gonna, this is gonna be an end of a good week. On February 3rd, deep love here, deep love and actions being taken. And it's like a blessing. This is a strong blessing coming in for you guys. Okay, so now I'm gonna switch up camera views and we're gonna bring it all together, okay? Okay, so what do we have here? We have this ex-partner, cautious and defensive because you're concerned that there is a lying and deceptive kind of energy which caused a state of confusion, but we see a commitment engage your marriage and we see regrets. And now the timing is right to deal with this situation. Before, it seemed like whatever was going on here, Taurus, it wasn't the right time. But now, it's, it's, it's the right time. All right? It's the right time. Something happened before it wasn't the right time. And let's look at the bottom of the deck. We see an apology coming in. You're at a crossroads about this opportunity to solve for the stress and worry about making the effort. They're like, okay, are they single and available to pursue? Right? Is there new love here or potential love here? I need to make a decision very soon. I should give this some time and delay this because I don't know. Okay, so something comes to light here. Oh, let's make sure we don't leave this card down. Okay, something's coming to light here about strong emotions and a lot of potential here of abundance towards fulfillment of your desires and achieving something as someone decides to take an action here. Okay, moving this out of the way. There is this breakup that happens that fulfills your desires, an abundance of shock and surprise about this main person and this offer of deep love. So you see, this is, this is gonna be an offer of deep love. You're reuniting with someone, someone's giving you attention. We see this party and celebration. We see this, uh, this could be a family member, a friend, a daughter, a sister, okay? Or it could just be uh, another person here. We see this house, home situation and a gift which is hopeful or giving to the situation or an invitation to this house, which is hopeful. Some of you guys could be either receiving a gift of a house or there's a, an invitation to a house, which is hopeful. Okay. Thinking and contemplating. So this person's thinking about you. Okay. They are saying, Taurus, I'm so heartbroken and I'm sad about this third party situation, about this work situation. I wanna work on this. I wanna communicate with you. I wanna hold on to you. I want to travel towards you and offer you love. Ace of Cups energy. Okay, so let's move this out of the way now, okay? And let's go to the love interest feelings at this point, okay? So how does your, your love interest, the one you're here for, the one you wanna know about, Taurus, how does your love interest feel about you? They're actually pretty confused, okay? They're confused, they have a lot of unknowns. You know, the High Priestess card's coming out next. Now they may also feel that there's a dreamy energy and a spiritual connection here. They are trying to regain some kind of confidence here with the Strength card energy. Let's go further, let's go down the layer and just see more information about how this person feels about you. This person wants to show up at your house, wants to bring some kind of good news. This person is feeling like they want some kind of marriage or commitment. And they may also want to do some traveling with you, okay? With the writer card coming out or journey card coming out. Your person feels like this is a very lucky connection. Okay, wow, they watch you from afar, okay? And it, it looks like there's concerns about their friend doing something sly or slick because of their, their luck of this connection, or for some of you guys, they want to be more than just friends. This person doesn't want to give up on you, Taurus. They want to take 
a risk, a leap of faith because they're realizing you truly make them happy. Sun card energy, right? This joyful energy here. Your person is strongly attracted to you and wants to make some type of power move towards you. And wants to cut away the unhealthy things from the past here, right? Sudden energy, abrupt energy. Suddenly they want to do something. So coming now to the blockage, which is the Knight of Wands, right? Concerns about lack of commitment, Knight of Wands energy. Is this person a player? Knight of Wands energy. Who do I want to commit with? Knight of Wands energy. Because remember, Knight of Wands is the player card. It's like I want to jump around, okay? Um, passionate actions could be taken or concerns about passionate actions, okay? And being used, because we know what the past history was here, right? And it's like this situation at night. Concerns about an ending of a situation and going further people ending of people okay so you're really concerned and well did they really break up with that other situation are they really truly moving forward you know is there going to be some type of commitment here okay or are they just playing games okay so let's change up camera views and look at the overall outcome here okay so we got the page of pentacles we got the six of swords and we got the nine of cups okay so it's showing me good news coming in for you guys. And pentacles are what? Money, family, children, long term. Okay. What's this good news about travel? Okay. Good news. Something long term. Good long term news about travel or you are overcoming obstacles and blockages. This is exactly what you wanted. You're getting exactly what you wanted, what you wish for. So I want you guys to ask yourself the question, Taurus. What have you wished for? What, it, what situation in your romantic love life will fulfill your wishes, your desires? That's it. This is it, okay, this week. There's something about this money and finance situation and we see this motherly energy and we see this meeting taking place. There is this stuck, stagnant energy and a person who's ready to kiss and make up because of these concerns about these disappointments. The timing is right. Blessings are here. There's going to be spiritual confirmation about fixing and healing the situation. There's something involving a friendship and knowledge of this person missing you. So remember, you received some type of communication. You get some kind of communication around the 31st, remember? So it looks like you get some kind of knowledge. So it may be coming from their friend. As I said, some of you, I said that it could be uh, some kind of information you receive from this person that causes you shock and surprise. Maybe not directly from your person, but indirectly. But that's exactly what it's saying here. There's this friend or this person, people, and you get knowledge of the fact that they're missing you, okay? So there's a bona fide fact here. Someone's giving advice. There is a deep love here. You find out there's deep love here. And we see that the reason why this is going on is because some kind of money and family conflict. But it doesn't mean that your person doesn't love you. You find out your person loves you and they want to heal and fix the situation. And you're finding out this week that they see you as the wisest decision when it comes to long-term commitment. Okay? So, going further here. And you see, lucky time. The timing is right. Spiritual confirmations, healing a situation. You're cautious here because of travel, possibly you and your person are far away, okay? But there's this possibility of the sense of stability, stableness here. There is a cautiousness here, but massive changes, shocking surprises are gonna happen because there's gonna be an offer presented to you. Okay, going further. There is this strong desire with you and this person to fix the situation when it comes to this house, this home, this family situation here. This is destiny here. You are about to be very happy. This person sees you as the main person, okay? Going further. There is this destiny, a spiritual connection, this friend, and the surprise you get. You're happy and joyful. This person, you find out about this sad energy from them and it's a sigh of relief because you're realizing, I don't feel like a lot of you Tauruses really realize that this person was really into you. You were, ha were having uncertainty about it. This is a major shock and surprise for you this week. They, you're, they're, you're realizing they are attracted to you and you get new perspective, new understanding 
of this deep love, King of Cups energy. Because of this ending of another situation and somebody who wants to bring something, give something, uh, something charitable here. So I almost feel like uh, also, just, just to, to bring it all together, I feel like this person was like thinking if they told you certain things about this person that it would cause you concern to move forward with them. Okay, so it's like they they weren't doing it because of the fact that they were trying to bring benefit to this person, but they were doing it because of ulterior motives. But it backfired on them, or there's going to backfire on them because you had a lot of uncertainty about this connection, but it's going to be confirmation for you about really what's going on behind the scenes where uh, you weren't sure if there was this person really had true feelings for you, if it was just a, it was like a, a just a passionate connection. You're finding out it's going to be more of a deeper connection about the fact that they missed you and, you know, they shared this, these things with their friend, whoever this person is. And then they're going to reach out to you thinking they're, they're trying to do something to the situation or sabotage the situation, but it doesn't, it doesn't work that way. Okay. Now, actually, it's a blessing in disguise. Okay. So, nice advice to my Tauruses. When it comes to romantic love life, for their highest, best good, the best possible offer for them, January 28th to February 3rd. Show me the cards you need to see. Show me the cards I need. Two, see. Okay, so get ready for this change, Taurus. Get ready for this massive change, Taurus. Trust in the universe. Embrace this future. There's going to be a lot of things released this week. Go with the flow. You're going to discover some things about this situation emotionally that you didn't know about. All right, my beautiful Tauruses. I love you guys so much. If you guys like it this way, you want me to continue this way, hit that like button. Let me know in the comments below. You know I love to hear from you guys in the comments below. So if this resonates, you want to claim this message, or you feel comfortable sharing your own personal situation with me, I would love to hear from you guys in the comments below. I love you guys so much. I'll see you guys another day or two. Have a great rest of your next couple days, and I will see you guys soon.